Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be building this modern house. I feel like I've just been on this kick lately of modern houses on both of my channels. I am working on kind of a variety build I guess a little bit. It's just an apartment complex but my goal with it is to make every single unit or bit of it like very different in very different styles which is kind of fun but I feel like otherwise I've just been in this mood to build really like modern contemporary looking houses but add a ton of personality inside of them because I know I've said this before on my channel but part of the reason that I don't love really modern houses in real life is because they feel very like cold and museum like on the inside and as someone who loves clutter and just very like like a lot of decoration where I live like I struggle to see houses like that in real life so I always try to add a lot of personality and pops of like color and just comfy furniture to these houses I've never really done something really minimalistic in this game ever because I find that difficult. I do want to try and do that eventually because I think it would be good to challenge myself but today is still not that day. So I guess I don't remember if I used a photo as inspiration for this build. I don't think so. I decided I was gonna make these like glass boxes almost so instead of doing like a full glass house I wanted just areas of it to be full glass like this area I'm working on right now is part of the living room and it's literally just a big glass box and then I believe on the other side of the house I make it yeah right here I make kind of a glass box as well it's just like a little reading area I believe is what this ends up being I don't know, I think it's really cool. It lets a ton of light in. I used a lot of Hey Harry's clean set again here. All the windows and doors. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Whenever there's like a new set, I feel like I just get so inspired and I want to build with it all the time until I'm like, okay, that's enough. Now you've literally used this too many times. Your viewers are going to get bored if you keep using it again. So yeah, I try my best to limit myself, but there's been some sets lately, like just build sets that I've been really happy with and are giving me a ton of inspiration and just, yeah, I'm really happy with the CC we've been getting late last year and early this year. So I'm really looking forward to what this year's gonna bring in terms of build CC and buy CC. But yeah, this house also, we're building it in Moonwood Mill, I believe. Yes, right by the water. I think this lot's really pretty. I think this world's really pretty. I just, it's a very dark world, which I understand it came with the werewolf pack, so it makes sense that it would be a darker world. It's more, like, I believe it's a bit of a spinoff off of, like, Forks from Twilight, just a little bit. Um... But yeah, so I, I kind of cheated and made it uh, the weather into a heat wave so we got some nice sunlight on this lot just so it looks a little bit brighter. But yeah, I do like this world. It kind of reminds me a bit of like where I grew up where it's very like rural out in the forest, foresty cottage country area, you know. I like building these modern houses especially out in the forest I think there's just something really cool about them it makes them look really like serene and secluded yeah it's just something I've been doing a lot lately and I feel like I need to change it up a little bit I think well I mean I did recently build one in the desert which I feel like changes it up a decent amount but yeah I really do build in the forest a lot and I think that just says a little bit about me as a builder but yeah so we add this little creek in here because I just wanted something else at the front of this lot I wanted it to be feeling kind of overgrown which I struggle with honestly in this game a little bit I think like there's a point where you can go too far with the landscaping and it just looks crazy and not nice anymore and it's just you have to find like 
the perfect medium between too much and too little. This lot was a bit easier because it's smaller and the house takes up a lot of it, so there's not a ton of activities. Um, there is a pool in the backyard. I kind of made it look natural and blended into the environment around it, which I've done before. I just think that looks kind of nice when you do it that way so that it's not so stark. And I think I put some loungers and a table out here and some planters. And I'm not sure what else. <laughs> oh, a pizza oven apparently. Yeah, I built this one a while ago. It was just after Christmas, I think. So I'm sure I'm going to forget a couple of the things I put in this build just off the top of my head. But yeah, I definitely tried to put some activities. I like to do that because it gives your Sims a reason to go outdoors on their own lot. So yeah, now we're inside. This is the entryway. It's a very large entryway and I hate it a little bit for that reason because there's also just a whole wall of like windows and a door on the other side which made it really hard to fill with stuff. Like I think I just end up putting a huge rug in this room because it just, yeah, it looked really empty. So as you can see, the style in here I kind of imagined like an interior designer living here, so someone really young and hip that has a bunch of really cool furniture pieces. It's not, I don't know if I'd call it eclectic really, it's just very modern, but like a cozy modern, and I really like it. So yeah, this is kind of the main area, so we have the living room, dining room, and kitchen in this side of the house. So I put this little shelf under the stairs and I believe I put some bookshelves on the other side of the stairs as well to kind of fill it up. This kitchen, I don't really know what you would call it. Is it a galley kitchen if there's counters on both sides and an island in the middle? I'm not sure. But I did add this kind of custom backsplash. I think those pieces might be from Pierre Sim, possibly his rolled scov set I'm not sure but I did like the look of some wooden backsplash on this kitchen and otherwise I think is that basic no that's tileable I feel like the styles of those two counters are very similar where they're just very sleek almost like plasticky looking I guess like they're just very very clean looking counters I love both of them I think this kitchen specifically is very versatile because you have the really modern look which is this one and then there's the one with the tiles that I feel like you can put in a more vintage looking home. I just I love Pierre's <laughs> Mukaisa. Honestly just the sets are always so versatile that he puts out. I saw that he did a pantry set that I'm waiting to get my hands on as well once it's out of early access. Oh, I'm excited to build a really big kitchen when that comes out. So yeah, this is the living room. I built this custom TV unit out of, again, tileable kitchen, just using the cabinets. Um, I think it looks really cool and it allowed me to add some clutter. And this is that little glass box area where those windows are. We use slouch couch again because I love that couch. And also the chair had this really cool pop of like pattern on it that I really liked. I think this living room is maybe my favorite part of this build. I love the bedroom as well so it's really hard to choose between them but I just think I added some cool like bits and pieces to this living room and the lighting is so nice like as you can see I added I did add another bookshelf on the other side of the stairs I put I think that's from MCM the wooden like the wooden piece that I put behind to kind of cover the stairs so it didn't look as open yeah and I just put a ton of stuff so this I believe is the office area so the office is kind of split with, like I said, this little reading nook in the other glass box, which originally I thought was going to be a, a bathroom, but then I was like, that's too much windows for a bathroom. Like, even though you're kind of in the middle of nowhere, I think it would be better to not put a bathroom there. Even though it might, like, you'd have great views from the toilet if you had a bathroom in this area. But yeah, so I just put like this little cozy nook. I believe I put a couple chairs they might actually be couches 
like a sectional couch that I just use as chairs. I can't remember. And if they are, they might be from Spoons. Yeah, I can see them coming up in the items. I think they're from Spoons, those couches by Hey Harry. But yeah, I just wanted to put a ton of books and clutter in this house. I imagine the Sim that owns this house just loves to buy things and decorate all the time and is probably always redecorating because I mean I imagine if you work as an interior designer you're always inspired by all these new styles and stuff so you probably do remake over your own living space a ton so this is the downstairs bathroom there's two bathrooms in this build one upstairs and one downstairs so there is an upstairs to this build it's just a bedroom and bathroom though it's not a huge build it's definitely only made for one sim you could probably turn that office into a bedroom if you absolutely needed to but i intended this to be for like a single sim or maybe a couple um I really like this bathroom. It's got some interesting color. I just love the black and white and then that kind of like chestnutty almost. Maybe it's a little darker than that, but that wood I think is so, so pretty every single time I use it. So this is the upstairs bathroom already. It's also a full bathroom. It has a shower that's also a walk-in as well. It doesn't have a tub because it's a little bit smaller, but yeah, I did manage to fit a good amount of stuff in this little bathroom upstairs. I think I really like how I did the bathrooms in this house. A lot of times my bathrooms are very samey, but every once in a while I kind of pull it out of the box and make like a really interesting looking one. So yeah, this is the last room in the house. This is the bedroom. I love how this room turned out. I struggled at first. I had that picture that I just placed and I knew I wanted that to be kind of the color scheme but it was hard to make my vision a reality for this room but I love the final product. So thank you guys so so much for watching this video to this point. If you want to download this, the tray files will be in the description along with all of the CC and it will also be uploaded onto the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!